Okay, I'm ready to create a finishing operation. So I'll go to new operation drop down, choose three 5D advanced and 5D by meshes. Okay, Spritcam has chosen 30 millimeters spherical mill, which is totally fine for me. This is some stock one for from the library. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the tool orientation. And for this operation, I need to make my tool orientation along Z axis. So I go to setup, use my rotary axis and choose Z here. Okay, I have a problem here right now. The fourth axis is out of out of control, <laughs> let's say. Uh, okay, I will just make it like this and do it again. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, my tool orientation is defined. This is correct. Now I'm going to the strategy tab and I will just decrease the job zone like that just for test to save my time. And I will enable, uh, so here is the avoid collisions, which is check uh, holder, which is enabled. So, and I will also enable check spindle, okay, like that. You will see why is it important. I will use more, like more distance than by default. So this will be 100. And I will also make my tool angular clearance, which is this angle this is the angle you can see oops. you can see it so i will increase it let's say to 40 degrees for example like that so this red area is the area where no element of the part of the workpiece is allowed to go okay and in this operation the uh, tool axis control uh, and the tool orientation is defined by this restriction area. So, and you see here, uh, Spritcam is make side tilting for the tool uh, in order to avoid collisions while we are moving from up to down. And the last thing, uh, I almost forgot about it, but it's not possible to forget about it so i will adjust it so i will use my uh rotary table vector again i will define it like plus x axis like that let's calculate the tool path and see the result okay looks fine the only thing is the approach and return also let's go to links and i will switch just to short okay short and short and maybe for the additional safety i will change my safe surface for from plane to cylinder cylinder like this and maybe i will make it bigger like this like say 50 millimeters from the part okay okay fine uh let's yeah we can see that maybe we will have a problem with the return let's see what we have here yes probably we will have a problem but we will calculate the whole uh, part first and then we will change it okay let's go to simulation i will reset the workpiece simulate up to current operation press run see how it works so first the tool is trying to stay vertical or fixed uh, as long as it can and then while we are going uh, sideways uh, yeah it starts to rotate the table and use rotary table for the finishing and shortly after that it will start yeah it will start inclination changing the orientation of the tool Okay, defined by the ch check holder uh, algorithm. Yes, we can see. Yeah, it works fine. Okay, we have a problem with return, but it's not a problem at all because we are going to change our job zone like that. 
Okay, put it back to 150 and recalculate the toolpath. Okay, now it's good. So go to simulation, reset, simulate up to current, run. Let's see if we have any problems. Maybe we will have some problems here. It's okay to have some problems here because it's a very complex toolpath, guys. See, it's a five axis toolpath on the eight axis equipment. Okay. It's not always working. Yeah, we saw some problem. It's not always working out of the box, but we tried to do it as much out of the box as possible. Okay, let's simulate, simulate. And finish, yes, and we have some uh, collisions, some collisions we have. So let's see what we have, what particular collisions. Yeah, we have a collision between the robot and the part, which is not very good because, yeah, it's obviously not what we want. But we can fix it, guys. We have eight axes, we can adjust the toolpath we have all the possibilities okay okay let's go to machining setup and we will use some kinematics uh, optimization tools for that i will use my axis map now so with this double click uh, with this click on the three dots i'm opened the axis map in this operation i don't need singularities because it doesn't make any sense, but I want collisions with the part and the workpiece. Okay, let's build map and see what we have. Okay, I already see that I have a solution for my situation. So my sixth axis by default is going along this, um, uh, this line, dotted line. I will break calculation. I don't need any further calculation anymore. <clears throat> and if I push my mouse button and drag here, I can see the problematic areas. So this is the touch. And here at the finishing, at the, at the end of operation, we always have the problem, also have the problem here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this button build graph oh, sorry no just double click with this uh, in this area so my green line is the trajectory or, or the position of the sixth axis along the toolpath so here i have time along x-axis of this graph i have time along y-axis i have the position of the sixth axis of the tool not of the robot by the way it's the sixth axis of the tool okay and now i can build my trajectory of my uh, sixth axis so that i avoid all the collisions here okay and we can see what happened so before that we have let's say this is the contact we had before Yes, and if I push here and press up arrow, I can see that in at this point I'm turning the tool around sixth axis so the robot becomes more distant to the part and the collision is avoided. So regenerate the toolpath. Okay. Let's make simulation one more time. Maybe we will still have some problem. I don't know. Okay, we had some problems uh, in the bottom area. Let's see how our bottom area will change now. 
you will see that the orientation of this element of the robot start changing, will start changing. Okay, it's changed. Yes. All green, all fine. We are finished. So, as soon as we are finished, we can make some adjustments with a step. You can define the, the smaller step. You can apply spiral machining. You can make smooth corners in order to avoid these uh, sharp corners here. And play with your machining process, whatever, however you want. Uh, this is it. This is the lesson. So we finished. Thank you for attention.